Alright, in this video, I'm going to uh, continue our tutorial. Um, last video, we got the um, computer's card to show and its value. Now we're going to um, get the uh, your card to show and its value, and we're going to do a comparison. So um, to do that, let's just go ahead. We had this IB action, and really, we can kind of duplicate what we're doing in here, but just kind of change everything for your card. So I'll do that. I'm going to go here. Let's just call this, uh, I apologize. This is just going to be called Rand Card 2. We'll just kind of add a 2 on to everything um, so that we don't mix up our, our variables. So Rand Card 2 there. Um, that's getting it from our array. And then instead of computer card dot image, this is where we uh, say your card dot image right that's right here okay that's why I didn't want to mix up the variables um, and then it's going to be whatever card 2 is and then we need to add this to the view as well so we'll do that right here we'll say your card okay um, and then Right here, uh, we want to display to the screen in the your value label. So let's change that. And this is Rand card too. Okay. Um, so so that should should work. Let's uh, let's give it a try and see if we can see um, the values show up. Here's the emulator, and if I, oh, we'll fix this. This is supposed to be kind of tight against the side. Um, so there you go. And, uh, yeah, the values are changing as they should. That's 2. That should be 13. Because remember, a 10 is a 10, and a jack is 11. Queen is 12. So it's looking good. Okay. Uh, let me show you how you can fix this, How because like, we wanted these, uh, this side to be flush against the right here. Um, <clears throat> we can do that in auto sizing. So when you go to your storyboard and you click on one of your objects on the storyboard, you can come over here and you can see that, oh uh, yeah, this is, basically this is saying this is going to be the same distance from the left hand side, but we want it to actually be the same distance from the right hand side. Now this one should be from the left hand side, so that'll keep it flush on that side. And then same thing with this card. We want it to be over here, all right? Um, I think this was pushed over as well. Yeah, let's fix that. So, and this, we want it the same distance from the top, so that's fine leaving that there. Um, well, this we're going to have to deal with differently. Uh, we should um, change this programmatically, and I'll show you how you can do that. But let's see if that keeps the images yeah see that keeps them flush against the side so this we want to center that I'll show you how you can do that programmatically um, let's go in here and we should probably put that in our view did load since that sets it up um, I actually have some code for that copy um, full before I do that we actually need to make an outlet of this so I'm gonna hit the double circles here to see the other side and we already made an action, but we do not have this as an outlet. So I'm going to make an outlet. We'll call it deal but, short for deal button. All right. And let's get out of split screen. And we will go into the view controller. And like I said, in our view did load, we'll put it right at the end of that method. So um, created a variable that is um, screen width divided by two. Remember, we did this in the first tutorial for this series. Where we were getting the screen with, um, so we know. So this is a nice thing. This will work on any phone size, um, and that's why we use that. And this minus 23 we use because our button. I looked it up earlier. Is 46 pixels wide, so we're going to subtract, um, and we're going to hit the middle point of that, and so that should center our button. Um, and then we just kind of uh, reposition it here with our CG make using the new um, X coordinate and um, these coordinates were kind of already in there this is the distance from the top and then this is the width and the height 
and then we add it to the screen. So let's see, that should be centered now, the button. And it is, that looks good. Perfect. All right, so let's do a, let's, so you saw I actually got ace and ace there and that should signify war. So let's do something where we um, create a uh, comparison of our values. So up in our IB action here with the values, this kind of represents the value, and we're printing that to the screen, which is great, but we should actually hold that value as well. So I'm um, I'm going to uh, create a variable called, let's see, we'll call this a computer val, and that's going to be hold that value, and then for this one, we'll call it um, mval for my value, let's say. And then this is going to be uh, rancard2. Can't forget that. And then we'll do a little if statement here. We'll compare. We'll see if um, mval double equal cval. Then we know we have um, war. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm programming in Objective C here. I have to take out these ints and show sure that it just has one L. So now we should be clean. And so in our if statement, we want to kind of have a pop up for the user to let them know that we've had a uh, um, the same values. Thus, war should be started. So we're going to. Use an alert, and I will make, as always, I will make this code available in the um, the description of the video. So uh, no worries there. So let's see, let's give it a try. So when we run this, we should be able to um, click this until we get a tie, and then at that point we should get a pop up. Come on, there we go, three and three. War. This means war. Um, and the alert is very similar to how it was done in uh, Objective C. You just create a, um, a UI alert controller object, and then you use that to uh, uh, create an actual alert, and then present the alert using Present View Controller. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions, and please subscribe.